Hey guys, welcome to Avery's six month update. I cannot believe my little baby girl is already half a year old. That is just mind blowing to me. She's getting way too big, way too fast. So I'm just gonna have a little asterisk here. Um, <laughs> Avery is actually like six and a half months. I don't know what it is, a third child problems. I just cannot get to these videos quick enough. I was like waiting for her um, six month appointment to come around and then I just haven't had a chance to do this video. And even now during this video, I'm probably gonna have my two sons interrupt several times, so I'm sorry in advance, but I just have to get it done because before I know it, she's gonna be seven months old and then I'm not gonna be able to do her six month video. So. This is Avery at six months. I'm sure you all can see she has the helmet now. I don't believe we've done an update yet um, with her helmet because I think she got her helmet when she was five and a half months old. So now that she is six months, here she is with the helmet. If you don't know what this is, go back a couple videos. I explain um, why Avery is wearing a helmet. She has played Yosefily and we're just rounding out her head shape, but that is something new that this past month that we had with Avery. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I just wanted to address the elephant in the room because you can obviously see it on her head. But I took pictures because I wanted to tell you guys what her stats were from the pediatrician. So Avery is 27 inches tall which is crazy i think between um four months and six months she g gained two and a half inches which is wild so her huge growth spurt puts her in the 87th percentile for height she is so so tall which makes sense because her six month clothes are small on her <laughs> like her she's busting out of the pants it's crazy and then weight wise, she's 15 pounds, 14 and a half ounces, putting her in the 44th percentile. So she has, she's very tall, but she's very slim. She's not very big, which has been Avery's MO. And then her head circumference is 41 and a half centimeters, putting her in the 27th percentile. And she's always had a small head, so she's just continuing on that trend. Huh, what do you think? I'm gonna have to go back and see what Avery was like at six months old because right now I'm looking at her and she's six and a half months old. This month, it really seems like Avery has upped her talking game. She is talking so much now. It used to just be like screeches here and there and she still loves her screeches, don't get me wrong. But she has started babbling now and saying da 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 or different things like that. Usually it's the da da though. Has not gotten to the ma 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 which I did have to look it up and Google like is that her first word if she's saying da 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 and Google says no they have to intentionally say the name like while looking at the person and then it counts as the first word so no it's just babbling but when I mentioned this, this to her pediatrician he actually said that he, that is early for her. Most babies don't start babbling until like nine months old. So go Avery. She's advanced on that. This past month, Avery found her feet finally. And so she loves grabbing her feet, grabbing her toes and lifting her legs up in the air. She loves playing with her feet. I'll put a picture in here if I can find one. It's so cute to see. Like I said, we did start the helmet journey with Avery. They are saying two to three months of wearing the helmet. Um, so as of six months, we were like half a month into it. She's tolerated the helmet really well. And even two weeks in, we're already seeing a lot of progress with her head shape. It's definitely helping round out the back, which was pretty flat and helping align like her ears and her jaw. So we're very happy with it. It does not seem to bother her at all. The first couple days, it was definitely an adjustment. But um, after that, she really doesn't mind it on off, doesn't really care. I think she's just used to it at this point. She's hungry, so I'm gonna feed her while I am uh, talking to you guys. This month, we also started doing um, baby cereal with Avery. So we started off with doing just the bland rice cereal and she hated it. 
I mean, well, actually, I guess that was probably last month we were doing the rice cereal. And like I said, she hated it. Then this month we switched her over to the oatmeal cereal, which both my boys did not like the rice cereal, but like the oatmeal. And she actually does like the oatmeal a lot better. It's a lot less of a fight, which is really, really nice. So she seems to be tolerating um, the oatmeal really nicely. Also, just towards the end of this month, we started introducing some purees to her diet. So we started with some green beans and she seems to like the green beans a lot. Um, it is a lot of spitting out, typical like trying to get used to that new texture and then me putting it back in and just doing that dance over and over again. But she does seem to like the green beans, which I was pretty shocked about because both my boys actually did not like green beans. So she has been doing a lot better than expected with the food, which is good. Avery loves sticking her tongue out. I swear she makes the cutest faces. Um, I think she's just kind of discovering her tongue. And now that we did like that tongue tie reversal, she can move it a lot more freely. And so she loves sticking her tongue out. She'll just be making like blank faces with the tongue out like she looks like a pug or the cutest is when she smiles and she sticks her tongue out if I have any pictures I will input those here super cute little quirk that she does she loves sticking her tongue out Avery loves watching her brothers of course she's always loved this and I've noticed that now that she's starting to get a little bit bigger a little bit mobile but not really the boys are taking an interest in her not really my oldest Grayson but my second oldest porter loves Avery. He comes up to her. He sings to her. He tries to help me feed her. He um, helps me put lotion on her after baths. He is my helper and Avery loves staring at Porter. She tries to coo at Porter and talk to him. I think they're gonna be really, really close friends um, when she gets big enough. So it's really cute to watch them together. Avery loves tummy time now, which is such a change because for her whole life she hated tummy time. I mean we could barely get five minutes in without her like screaming crying. And something changed and she all of a sudden loves tummy time. She will push herself up on her uh, hands and get like her whole chest off the ground and loves tummy time will be on her tummy for 10, 15, 20 minutes at a time, loves it, loves looking around. She rolls super easily, um, so that helps her get around too. We recently got her this dancing crab from TikTok. Um, Google it if you don't know what I'm talking about. But it's just a crab and it dances back and forth and it plays music and Avery loves watching the crab during tummy time. It did seem like when we first got the helmet for her, tummy time was kind of hard. I think it was just a little bit more heavier on her head than she was used to but we got that dancing crab out and she did not um, have an issue with the helmet once we did that so that was really nice to have a really good entertainment for her and my older boys love watching the dancing crab as well which is hilarious also on tummy time Avery um, I'll put her in front of the kick play piano from Fisher Price usually I just had her lay on her back which I still do but other times I will put her on her tummy and put her like in front of the keyboard so she can see the light light up with the different colors and she loves that as well. Avery still loves looking at her reflection in the mirror. We have a mirror on her new play gym from the Love Every and she loves looking at herself too but she will just get the biggest smiles when she sees her reflection in the mirror. She is... <laughs> That's you're my looking son. at my brother. She's looking at you. She's looking at Porter right now. But yeah, she loves looking at her reflection too. It's so <laughs> fun to see um, like if she's kind of upset. Like I'll just take that. her in front of the mirror and she will just smile and she just <laughs> loves it. So one of the frustrations with Avery is she is still not laughing. And I'll say this now, as of six and a half months, she is still not laughing. It doesn't really seem to be a concern right now with her pediatrician. I mean, every baby is on their own timeline. I will say both of my boys were laughing by like four months. So Avery's just a little more of a serious baby, I guess. We have tried everything and anything to try to get her to laugh. The closest we can get is a chuckle. She smiles all the time, so it's not like like she doesn't react at all. We just cannot for the life of us get her to do a laugh. 
So I'm hoping any day now she will just kind of connect it in her brain and start to do the, la the deep belly laughing, but we will see um, if it gets better. But yeah, as of right now, she's not laughing. Another frustration is I think we're kind of starting to see the six month sleep regression with her because her naps are all over the place. She will do two, two and a half hour naps, three hour naps, all the way down to 30 minute naps. Or sometimes I swear I put her down and then 10 minutes later she's back up. Like, did she even sleep at all? Usually she does about three naps a day. Sometimes it's two naps. It's really been hard because she'll take like an afternoon nap and then we're always trying to sneak in one more nap right before six. So sometimes we'll get her down at five and she'll take like a 20 minute nap. Sometimes we try to put her down at five and she doesn't nap at all and then she goes to bed a little earlier. So it's all over the place. Also, Sleeping through the night is kind of all over the place as well. I want to say by six months, she was waking up at least once a night, usually about four in the morning, but sometimes six in the morning and sometimes two in the morning. It was just like all over, kind of depended. Now at like six and a half months, I'll just kind of give you a snapshot into later on in her life. She is um, now sleeping through the night for the most part, although she has been waking up at like 6.40, 6.30 and I'll go feed her and try to put her back to bed and she will not go back to bed. And so she starts her day at like 6.30, but then she wants to go to bed at like 6.30 p.m. So just kind of all over the place with her sleep, with her naps. It's very hard to time things with her, do appointments or anything because I just, I never know what her sleep schedule is gonna be like because it it's never the same day to day. Avery loves being naked. She loves having all of her clothes off. Usually in the evenings I will get her naked because she gets pretty messy after eating her puree. It gets all over her. So I just get her naked and she loves it. She kicks like crazy. She's smiley. She loves being naked, which is so cute. Avery still loves baths. I'm still bathing her in our sink. She's not sitting by herself, which by six months, both of my boys were sitting by themselves, but every baby is different and she is smaller than what they were. But she is not anywhere near sitting on her own. In fact, that's something the pediatrician wants me to work on with her is to get her into that sitting position more so she can kind of engage her core and fight gravity because she is not not really holding herself up in the sitting position at all. So that is something that we are working with um, Avery. Avery loves getting her nose booped. It's like the closest we can get to get her to laugh. Like we'll just like She nose. likes when I make the kissing noise at her when I go <laughs> she thinks that's funny and she likes when we like do spider up her belly and boop her nose. She thinks that's pretty funny, but like we'll try and tickle her and she just kind of stares at us like, what are you doing? <laughs> but I think that's gonna be it for Avery at six months old. So sorry that this video is coming at you so delayed. I guess I'll have to delay her seventh month video a little bit. Otherwise the information is probably gonna be a lot of the same. But this is Avery at six months old. She's actually been really good for this video other than hey. wanting some milk. She's still our pretty chill baby. She's pretty easy. Oh no, She's very lovable. Mommy. And she's happy to be held and she's happy to be on the ground. So very chill, easy third child, which is um, really nice. On days that she's not chill and easy and she's a little more fussy because of teeth and things like that, then I feel a little overwhelmed having three children. But on most days where she's just her chill self, um, going from two to three, I'm like, oh, I can handle three, it's not that bad. So it just kind of depends on Avery's mood, depends on if I can handle three children or not. <laughs> but this is Avery at three months old. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you can see more videos of Avery as she continues to grow and get bigger. Comment down below when you think she's gonna laugh because I'm really hoping, this is my son, reason. I'm really hoping she laughs soon. I really want to hear that belly laugh. So we'll see. I'm hoping any day now it'll happen. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye everyone. See you later.